What's up everyone, welcome to today's video, welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel, thank you very much for tuning in. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is a very interesting game, and I've left my thoughts on the game purposefully vague, because live service games are very difficult to judge, because number one, it depends on the interest of the player, and number two, it depends on how much the developers are going to support the game, and it depends on a lot of different circumstances. Things change. Developers will change their view. They will change their focus. Players will change their interests. Uh, you know, the games will evolve, especially live service games. And what's even crazy is some games will be mischaracterized as live service games. And compared with these live service games, like Gotham Knights keeps getting, you know, compared and categorized as a live service game. Even among people who I think should know better, you still continue to see this categorization. Gotham Knights is a game that has a close ended gameplay. You can play co-op and they add, say, a loop that you can continue to enjoy, but you can also decide that you're stopping this game and there's no longer any official support for the game. So the game is not necessarily designed like that. The best you could say is perhaps the game wanted to take a live service direction and the developers decided that they were not going to do it anymore, which is fine, but it doesn't make it a live service game. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's either you have the cake or you eat the cake. So I'm kind of in a position where it's funny to see people make these characterizations. In Suicide Squad's case, nonetheless, I've stayed kind of silent as to my thoughts because I've played two live service games for a number of years. And the very best assessment that I've had about these games came after I'd seen the direction the developers were going, for the most part, after giving the game a little bit of time and playing the game. However, it is not lost on me that even with what they've given us in the you know alpha, I can still make an assessment as to what it is the game is going to be with regard to the story that we got and a few you know bits of the content. So with that in mind, I can say, you know, that if you want to play the game and you want to enjoy the Batman, you know, story, lore, banter and, you know, aspects of the universe, I think there's going to be something there for you. But one thing I am quite concerned about is how the end game and the game's progression is eventually going to be fleshed out because this is going to be a very big deal at the end of the day. And one thing that you, you know, you'll see with a lot of these live service games in their entirety is how the fans, you know, uh, and the developers basically continue to interact after the game has been launched. Rocksteady has not supported a live service game in the recent uh, years. They have made a multiplayer game, but they haven't supported a live service game in this environment. So how they're going to go ahead and, you know, support this game is very interesting for me to, you know, assess. And so these layers are very important for me to be able to make a very good assessment, especially knowing that it is a game that I actually want to play. Does that make sense? So if say I didn't want to play the game, it will be a different outlook. But seeing that I want to play the game and hopefully if everything goes right, they don't cancel or delay the game. I would play the game. It makes sense for me to take my time playing through the different aspects of the game before making, you know, or forming much in terms of conclusions. This is because, like I said, you can't necessarily judge everything in one swoop. Because again, the way the game is going to progress, the responsiveness of the developers, the way they're going to support the game, if they're going to support the game long term, or if they're going to pack up shop, these are very critical questions that you pretty much have to ask when it comes down to it. Is the game going to evolve into something pretty cool, pretty superb, and pretty, uh, you know, interesting is it going to be what it currently is eventually down the road all of these are things that you can't necessarily tell so it will be hard and even you know games journalists like paul tassi agrees because he said one thing about live service games is reviewers are probably going to go in there and drop their reviews but then when they put it on metacritic say the reviews are not necessarily the best and then the game eventually evolves to something pretty strong you can't change your score after that now he also admits that on the YouTube side, you know, you can come back to a video saying, oh, Suicide Squad three years later or Gotham Knights after, you know, two years, or all this stuff and then reassess, you know, a lot of the things that you've concluded. So I guess that's the luxury that we have on the YouTube side of things. However, when Metacritic scores are dialed in, they're dialed in. And I think this is one of the reasons where after giving, you know, Marvel Spider-Man 2 the critical acclaim status with its Metacritic scores, you know, people like uh, what is their name? The folk who Jake Baldino's people came out and said, well, this is weird that we gave this game critical, critical acclaim status when it had bugs in it. But the it, he they came out to say that after the fact, because why the Metacritic scores are already in there and it doesn't account for the bugs that should have 
not giving that game critical claim status. So this is the big challenge about all of that that we are looking at when it comes to games like these. So for the most part, I've kind of stayed quiet as to what it is that I think. And that's just the simple fact. I've pretty much been very happy just letting people decide on what it is they want to do with these games, uh, pretty much decide on how it is they want to approach games like this. And it's been so much fun just to see a lot of people come to the conclusions on their own as to what are, they, what are the things they like about this game and how in the world they're going to go ahead and approach a game like this. You know, so that's pretty much my, you know, thought process about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. I mean, if you're asking questions about mechanics or, you know, how the game plays, you know, I think one thing about a game like it is the somebody said something really interesting. They said, you know, watching Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is kind of weird, but when you play the game, it's kind of fun. There are just some games like that. They don't look fun when you're watching them, but when you're playing them, there's a whole different feel around it. I think they did, you know, nail something down like that with the spirit of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And also, being, you know, somebody who played it, I can tell you that my mains are going to be King Shark and, you know, uh, Deadshot. <laughs> That's basically my, you know, uh, the two characters that I really favor the most. I guess I can make another video for it because that's a video that will probably maybe emphasize some of the stuff that I'm trying to say when it comes to the mechanics that are involved. So you're probably going to see me break down mechanics, break down specific aspects of the game. But one thing you're not going to see for a while is, you know, my conclusive thoughts about, you know, what it is that I've played so far. I can just give you tidbits about some of the things I liked. And that's what a lot of people are doing. But because it's a live service game, there's a lot that has to be taken into consideration when you're actually making a good uh, judgment or assessment about things. So thanks so much for watching the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. I appreciate you guys' time and audience. Hopefully we'll talk pretty soon in another one. Peace out.